Welcome to Ready, Set, Scale, a podcast that focuses on how to buy, sell, and use technology solutions in different markets. I'm your host, Shannon Tomlinson, Senior Director of Marketing here at ScanSource. We're here today to talk about healthcare technology with our partners, Zebra and SealShield. We've entered a new world when it comes to healthcare. If you've received medical services during the past three years, you observe the myriad of changes to how they're delivered. And according to numerous industry-focused statistics, patients don't want healthcare providers to turn back the clock on these advancements. Instead, they want providers to embrace those changes while continuing to seek new ways to improve patient experiences. A concern both healthcare providers and patients have is properly sanitized equipment. So we're happy to be joined by Brad Whitchurch, founder and CEO of SealShield, and Wes Perea, senior sales engineer from Zebra, to discuss at least one innovation that they've partnered together to help with that. I just want to thank you, Brad and Wes, for joining me today on this podcast. I think this one's going to be exceptionally fun. These are two very big companies that we are excited to be partnered with and to have the partnership between the two of them. And so today we're going to talk about keeping it clean with Zebra and Seal Shield. And what I mean by that is all UVC is not created equally. Brad, Will you jump into that one and tell me what that means? <laughs> Absolutely, Shannon. Thank you very much. Well, we've seen a proliferation of UV disinfection devices in the marketplace. UV light is highly effective at eradicating pathogens, but as you mentioned, not all UV light is the same. UV light, if you remember back to your uh, science classes, is a spectrum. There's UVA and UVB. And then UVC, which is in the 200 to 280 nanometer section of the light spectrum, that's where you're getting the germicidal effects of UV light that's killing the pathogens. But more specifically, within that UVC range of 200 to 280 nanometers, the germicidal peak wavelengths are between 260 and 265 nanometers which is where DNA absorbs the most UV. And so what we're seeing is most of the UV products on the market, and there's been a a proliferation of them, there's a number of UV products on the market, most of those products use a mercury bulb to generate the UV light. And those mercury bulbs are typically broad spectrum. They're covering the entire spectrum of UVC and maybe even beyond that into UVA and UVB. The result of that is that you can get material degradation of plastics and other polymers, meaning that not only is the UV light eradicating the pathogens, but it's breaking down the material that the pathogens are on. As opposed to that, there is a UV source that is LEDs, which are light-emitting diodes. They have the benefit of having a very narrow spectrum within the UVC spectrum of that efficacious area between 260 and 265 nanometers. There's pros and cons to both solutions. So mercury bulbs generate a lot more energy. So you're able to sanitize things with mercury generated UV light at a much faster rate and at further distances. LEDs are not generating as much energy, so you have to have them at a closer proximity to the area that you're disinfecting, and it may take a little bit longer. So there's some trade-offs, but what we say, if you're using UV light in certain applications, like in a waiting room where a device might get disinfected once or twice a year, you're going to get a quick disinfection cycle, which is a benefit. But if you're in an enterprise environment in healthcare where devices are being disinfected multiple times a day or daily, you're going to want to have an LED source generator for that UV disinfection so that you're not degrading those materials over time. Here at Seal Shield, we have the Electroclave UVC sanitization system, which does use the UVC LEDs. Of course, the benefit is low power, low heat and you're focused in that germicidal wavelength, so you're not getting any material degradation of the devices that you are disinfecting. That's why we've partnered with Zebra, one of the leaders in mobile devices for healthcare, uh, for their enterprises device, enterprise devices in the healthcare space. 
Awesome. I didn't know I needed my lab coat on today. I feel like I need to have just look very smart because this was a lot of scientific information. But that's good to know that there's the science behind it. It's not just, hey, we've done something new and we want you to try it. There's actual science behind this. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You talk about partnering with Zebra on this. So, Wes, talk to me about that a little bit, about what Zebra's plan was, why this came about, and what you actually used when you were doing some of the testing for this. Well, yeah, absolutely. As you can imagine, this all kind of started uh, around uh, COVID-19. And a lot of our end customers, a lot of hospital networks were asking, how do we clean our devices? What is a recommended way? We've even seen customers ask if they can use very harsh abrasives like bleach on devices. We had to come up with a message to send to our customers on the right way to do things. Part of that message, we're partnering with SealShield to make sure that we could come up with the next generation of disinfecting devices. Some of the testing that we did on our devices to make sure that it wouldn't yellow or change our materials. So we've worked very closely with our material teams and with our product engineering teams and with the Seal Shield team to make sure that we are doing our due diligence because patient perception of a device means a lot to us in the industry and nobody really wants to be using a yellow device or, or something that appears to you know have gone through a ringer multiple times. Yeah, I can imagine having recently had a emergency surgery that had to be done. I noticed things like that to go, hey wait a minute. I know that Zebra device, but you're right. I didn't want them using things around me at that time that maybe looked a little dingy. I mean, I know or at least expect in a hospital environment that things have been cleaned and disinfected, but sometimes it's just the appearance. And when you see that yellow on something, then first thing through your head is maybe that's not exactly as clean as I would like for it to be. Your instincts are right. That yellowing isn't just a discoloration. What that's a sign of is material degradation. So in plastics, certain uh, hard non-porous polymers, broad spectrum UV is not only yellowing those plastics, but it's creating micro fissures in the plastic that you can't see with the naked eye, but they're very clear when we look under an electron microscope. And those crevices become harbors for bacteria. So if you're implementing a broad spectrum UV system for device disinfection with the goal of disinfecting these devices, over time, what you're doing is actually creating a surface which harbors more pathogens and makes it harder to disinfect those devices. It's not only yellow, the plastics are breaking down and creating micro fissures that harbor bacteria. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's doing more than just changing the color. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, the color change is a signal of what's actually happening to those polymers as they're breaking down and creating these micro fissures that can harbor bacteria and viruses. Wes, when you were looking at this, I know there were some specific products that were, you were using. Talk about that a little bit in some of the, the testing. Here at Zebra, we also create a, a line of devices specifically for healthcare. We take our, our standard Zebra DNA and work closely with uh, the hospitals that we are deployed in to make sure that we have the right specifications for what their requirements are. You can tell our devices for healthcare are a little bit different because they tend to be white and blue. That's kind of the color scheme we go with. It also looks good when you keep these things sanitized and clean because they're nice and bright. They're not you know, the traditional black tablet with a black screen. The devices that we have tested and supporting would be our brand new ET40 healthcare tablet. It's a 10-inch tablet designed specifically for the healthcare market in our blue and white plastics with a whole line of accessories to support our partners. We have also tested our healthcare-grade printers, which also come in the same healthcare plastics. Brad, I want to go back to you a little bit and talk a little bit more about some of the why behind this. And I know part of it is, is just making sure that we've got the right things, the right disinfecting applications ready. But why partner with Zebra? We're very excited about our partnership with Zebra. In terms of the why, Seal Shield, we started infection prevention back in 2006 when we invented the world's first washable waterproof keyboards and mice that are now a standard in acute care 
we're probably in about 80% of U.S. hospitals, and we manufacture those products in 30 different languages and distribute them worldwide with our partner ScanSource, of course. As EMR systems, electronic medical record systems began to be implemented throughout healthcare, those systems were highly mobile-centric. So we start seeing tablets and mobile phones and mobile pagers. And some have said that these devices are among the most dangerous devices in healthcare because they're traveling to areas of the facility that other devices just didn't touch. Just like you need to stop cross-contamination on keyboards and mice by washing them, you need to stop those cross-contaminations on these new mobile devices. And it's a challenge to clean these devices. They're hard to clean devices. We recognize that UV radiation would be an effective way to disinfect these mobile devices. And then as we started looking at the solutions on the market and the technology available, we realized, as we said, that not all UV light is the same. And if you're using a broad spectrum mercury bulb for your disinfection, there are some less desirable side effects that we've talked about with the material degradation. So we set out to make the first UV LED solution to solve the same problem we're having with mobile devices from a cross-contamination standpoint, as we've always had with the keyboards and mice. Our partnership with Zebra came about because Zebra also has the challenge of cleaning these hard-to-clean mobile devices in healthcare, and they recommended to their customers UV radiation for that purpose. And through that process, they also realized what we realized that, hey, there's some yellowing happening. What is that really about? What can we do about that? And that's how we got engaged in our partnership, you know, Seal Shield, with our Electroclave device disinfection system. We have the solution, and so uh, it was really a perfect partnership. Zebra is the the leader in mobile devices in healthcare. Seal Shield is the leader in uh, device sanitization and disinfection. So it was a perfect partnership to allow the Electroclave to be the recommended solution to sanitize Zebra devices within the field. You talk about partnership a lot, and so I I love hearing that. This is a beautiful three-way partnership. You guys You've partnered up with Zebra. Zebra has been with ScanSource for 30 years. We are so excited about that. And we love that Seal Shield has come into the group. I think you've been with us since, what, 2018, 2019, somewhere around in there. And so I think this makes a great three-way partnership to make sure that our partners that are listening today know this information. They're getting this scientific information and they're getting the benefit from two great companies. So we appreciate that. Well, we appreciate the partnership with ScanSource as well, Shannon. I really should give a a plug to the Seal Shield UV resistant screen protectors as well. If you're using Seal Shield Electroclave UV solution for your device sanitization, it's not going to be an issue because of what we spoke about with the material degradation not being a factor. However, if you are using mercury bulb solutions either for device disinfection or whole room disinfection, Seal Shield has a solution to protect the OLED screens. So much like a broad spectrum UV source can degrade plastics, it also penetrates the screens of devices, whether they're mobile devices or monitors, freestanding monitors. The UV light can penetrate those OLED screens and destroy the internal components. So hospitals that are utilizing uh, UV robots for whole room disinfection, they're instructed to turn the monitors in the room 45 degrees so that they don't get direct exposure from the UV mercury bulb source. With the Seal Shield screen protectors, they're UV resistant. We custom cut them in-house to fit any device in healthcare, whether they're mobile devices or standalone devices, medical equipment such as infusion pumps, etc. And uh, of course, all of those screen protector products are available through ScanSource in addition to the washable keyboards and mice and UV disinfection systems. Oh, great. That's good to know. Good to know. This is a lot of very good information, a lot of scientific information. I love having the facts behind things. So, Wes, I'm going to ask you, this is one of my favorite questions that I like to ask on podcast, crystal ball. So I've just handed you a crystal ball. What do you see coming up for the future, especially in healthcare and what Zebra is looking to do? Yeah, that's a loaded question. And <laughs> yes, work, it is. Working at Zebra, I mean, I have access to so much technology. Zebra is just a, a huge machine trying to build the best, not only pieces of hardware for our customers, but we have software to back it up. So when I look at like the future of integrating our solutions, I, I'm looking at automation, being able to automatically track 
when devices have been disinfected, being able to lock down a device if it hasn't been disinfected for a period, a certain period of time, going beyond our, our tablet line to look at the rest of our portfolio, and even maybe leveraging robotics to kind of get involved in this into this ecosystem. You know, I could go on about this forever, but I'll hand over the time to Brad now. <laughs> Brad, I'm throwing it to you too. Now you have the crystal ball. What's what's Seal Shield up to next? Well, I, I have to agree with Wes on some of the long term vision, and that's what really excites me. But in terms of what Seal Shield is up to next, I think you're going to see in the UV space in particular a lot of consolidation. So a lot of UV companies came on the market around the COVID time, and there was a COVID bump in demand. And as that demand has settled, some of the companies have really not been able to maintain their growth rates. And so I think you're going to see a lot of consolidation. I know you will. And in fact, Seal Shield is going to be a, a leader in that activity. And so in the next week or two, we're going to be making a, a major announcement about an acquisition in the UV space, which will further support our leadership in that technology. And we're very excited about that. And we may be making more acquisitions in the near term in that space as we move forward. So that's the short term. But long term, I agree with Wes. It's very exciting what we've been able to do with the Electroclave. And in fact, we can give indications of whether a device is clean or dirty with that solution today. Those solutions can be customized by the user with our cloud-based software. So you can say if you're in the NEQ, for example, you get a push notification on your device that says you're in the NEQ. This is a highly infectious area. Please return your device to the Electroclave and get a clean device. And those can be customized parameters. So we're already at the point where we can have some indication of whether devices are within spec for clean or dirty. I agree with Wes that integration and automation is really going to be the future. I agree with him that robotics is going to play a role. Of course, AI will be a factor. It's very exciting to watch that we have essentially all of the technologies available in the space today. And all we need to see is the integration to really, in some ways, take the human element out of the cleaning protocols and disinfection protocols so that we can have very specific solutions for very specific pathogens that will be able to track, send out an automated response that's targeted towards that pathogen and break the chain of infection in a highly automated and effective methodology. So we're not there today, but all of the technology components are on the market. And once you start combining what we know about device disinfection, whole room disinfection, robotics, AI, automation, we are not very far away from having some really sophisticated solutions that will make a meaningful, measurable impact in reducing hospital-acquired infections. Oh, wow. I mean, the future is bright and clean. Again, keeping it clean with the zebra and seal shield. That is awesome information. I mean, do you have any last parting thoughts that you want our listeners to know about this topic or anything else within zebra and seal shield? I'll kick it off for this. You know, final thoughts. I've gotten amazing feedback from our teams that have attended some of the healthcare shows over the last few weeks on, on the partnership and how well things are going, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how much more we can do together in the future. Great. Yeah, I agree, Wes. I've attended a couple of trade shows uh, with the Zebra team over the last few weeks. The presentations have been extremely well received by the customer base, and we're already doing some of this integration and automation where notifications are coming through the Zebra devices on the status of those devices, whether they're clean or dirty. And we're going to continue to expand that technology sharing and partnership to create better solutions for our healthcare customers, of course, uh, available through our friends at ScanSource. Absolutely. Brad, Wes, thank you both so, so much. This was extremely informative and fun. Again, we kept it clean. We're going to continue doing that. We want to make sure that everyone stays safe and healthy. I appreciate you both. Thank you for being on today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Shannon. We'd like to give another big thank you to Brad from Seal Shield and Wes from Zebra for participating in our discussion about healthcare technology. And as always, we'd like to give a special thank you to our additional sponsoring suppliers, Cisco, Avaya, Datalogic, Epson, Honeywell, 
Jabra, Milestone, Polly, and Spectralink for making this podcast possible. We hope the listeners of Ready, Set, Scale podcast gained valuable insight about the healthcare market today. If you still have questions, our team at ScanSource is always happy to help. Feel free to reach out to your ScanSource representative if you're interested in exploring new opportunities in this or any other market. Our team of experts are always ready, willing, and happy to evaluate your solutions and find new ways you can grow your business. Do you have a business question you've always wanted answered but haven't had the opportunity to ask? If the answer is yes, please visit us at scansource.com slash RSS question and submit your question. It could be featured on a future episode. And also be sure to stay in touch and follow ScanSource on LinkedIn and Twitter for industry-related content as well as what's happening at ScanSource. Thank you for listening and remember, Think ScanSource for all your technology needs.